Hello to all of you, this is Dr. Dawal Bahata and today we are going to discuss about hypothesis testing also known as a para conducting the parametric test that is t-test in R. Basically, hypothesis is a researcher's hunch, his thinking or rather the, the premises that this can be the relationship or this can be the association or this can be the influencing factor of one variable on another. Now to test this, we are carrying out some test. Basically, we are using t-test and z-test for comparison of two means. The basic assumption in case of t-test is that the data should be normally distributed. We have already discussed in our previous videos that how to test the normality in the data. Now, what is the difference between one sample t-test, uh, independent sample t-test, dependent sample t-test? Let's see. Now, in case of one sample t-test, from the population, we are drawing a sample and we are trying to compare the mean of this sample with the population mean and we want to see uh, we want to say that is there any significant difference or not the null hypothesis will be there is no significant difference between the population mean and the sample mean for example there is a company which is selling some some product and the claim of the company is that we are giving 100 grams so there is the, uh, on the package it is written we are giving 100 grams now uh, any consumer feels that I want to test it that is it really uh, the company is giving 100 grams or not so a random sample is drawn from some locations and uh, and uh, and this wafer packets are weighed now this sample mean which you get by picking up the random sample uh, this is you can say a test is carried out that the sample mean is it equal to the population mean or not so in such scenario, we carry out one sample t-test. Independent sample t-test is uh, carried out when we want to compare the means of two different groups. Both the groups are different. See, this group is different from this graph. So I say I want to compare the marks of section A and section B or I want to compare process A with process B, department A with department B. Make sure that the number of groups are only two. Null hypothesis will be there is no significant difference in the means of two groups. If I talk about dependent sample t-test, the same groups is compared. The means of uh, same groups are compared before and after the treatment. And therefore here we write is the null hypothesis is in case of dependent sample t-test there is no significant difference in means before and after the treatment. So now let's understand what is the case of ANOVA. In ANOVA, we are comparing more than two groups, one, two, three. And the null hypothesis is there is no significant difference. For example, I'm, I'm using the word as marks. There is no significant difference in marks of more than two groups. But uh, the alternative hypothesis is a little bit tricky. There is significant difference in at least one pair. Either it can be this, this or this. Now, how to conduct the parametric test that is t-test in R. Let's see. Let us go in the scripts. So here there is one default data set which is known as carbon dioxide. Just write down capital C, capital O, 2, run. You can see that there are five variables. One is plant, type, treatment, concentration and uptake. Needless to say, concentration and uptake are the continuous variable. Right? So I will run, uh, I will attach CO2 file. Now my null hypothesis is that there is a claim or rather I want to compare the population mean is 30. Uh, the population mean is 30 and this is a sample mean. So I want to uh, test that is the sample mean significantly different from the population mean or not. The null hypothesis will be mean is 30 or rather there is no significant difference between sample mean and the population mean. The alternative is mean is not equal to 30 or there is a significant difference in the sample mean and the population mean. How we can carry out the analysis? Run and you can see the p-value. We have already discussed the thumb rule for this. The thumb rule is whenever the p-value is less than 0.05, we reject null hypothesis. I again repeat, whenever the p-value is less than 0.05, we reject null hypothesis. Whenever the p-value is more than 0.05, we fail to reject 
null hypothesis. Now there are some settings which we can change with the help of arguments. Most of the time in t-test we are, we are having greater than or less than alternative hypothesis. So this is the term used for alternative hypothesis. So alternative is less than. So t-test up to, uh, mu is equal to 30 that is a population mean alternative is less confidence level is 95%. You can change this confidence level to 0.9 also and 0.99 also. So in uh, in, uh, in social sciences, we are using 95%. I can run the analysis and I'll get the same set of result. The p-value is again less than 0 0.05 and therefore we are rejecting the null hypothesis. This is one sample t-test where a sample mean is compared with the population mean. Now let us carry out uh, the independent sample t-test. How we can do this? Let's go back into the data frame. And here we are having the absorption of carbon dioxide. Uptake is the how much the plant is able to absorb the carbon dioxide. So uptake is there. This variable uptake. Now I want to see that is the uptake of the carbon dioxide significantly different according to the type of the plant that is cubic and Mississippi. The grouping variable is only cubic and Mississippi and therefore we are very well in the position to compare the means of these two groups. How we can do this? The null hypothesis is mean uptake of carbon dioxide of cubic is equal to mean uptake of carbon dioxide of Mississippi. Right? And here we are assuming that the variances are equal. Right? We are doing this test when the variances are equal. Right? The alternative hypothesis is mean uptake of carbon dioxide of cubic is not equal to the mean uptake of carbon dioxide of Mississippi. We are carrying out the test is T dot test uptake tilde type mu is equal to zero. That is a difference between this two. The, uh, the population mean between these two groups is zero. Alternative is two sided. Confidence is 0 0.95, paired is false. Paired is false means we are not carrying out dependent sample t-test here. Run. Now you will see that the p-value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore we reject null hypothesis, which means that there is a significant difference in the means of these two groups, which you can very well see from here. The mean uptake of Quebec is 33, 0.54, and that of Mississippi is 20.88. Now the same analysis which we have done assuming the equal variances. When you are aware that the variances are not equal between these two groups, you have to add one more argument that is variance dot equal is false. Everything else remains same. You can see from here. Everything is same except one more argument which is added that the variance dot equal is false run the analysis. So you, here also you can see that the uh, null, uh, the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we reject null hypothesis. If you don't specify variance equal to uh, false, the default is true, means it assumes that the variances are equal between these two groups. Now we want to carry out the dependent sample t-test. On which variable we can do it? Let's go back. Now this this uptake variable, I want to see that is there any significant difference in the absorption of carbon dioxide after giving some treatment. The treatment given was chilling the plant, chilled, non-chilled, right? So our null hypothesis is that the mean uptake of carbon dioxide before chilling, this is, I'm talking about dependent sample t-test. So the mean uptake of carbon dioxide before chilling is equal to the mean uptake of carbon dioxide after chilling. Alternative is mean uptake of carbon dioxide before chilling is not equal to the mean uptake after the chilling, right? What we will do? What, the, what are the things which will change here? T dot test uptake treatment mu is equal to zero. Alternative two sided confidence is 0.95. Now here I will make paired is equal to true. And the here it will work. It will give me the result as dependent sample T test. The p-value is less than 0 0.05, therefore we reject 
null hypothesis it means that there is a significant difference before and after the treatment and the difference is 6.85 difference is positive it means that the absorption of the carbon dioxide or the uptake has increased now i want to carry out the test for proportions the test for proportions is that uh, let us take one example in an election during the exit interview 550 voters reported that they voted for democratic the exit interview was conducted for 1000 voters so for this we don't have anything in t test for proportion for this we will be using z test by using the z test can we provide enough evidence to suge suggest that the democratic party will win the election or not use z test for single proportion at 1% level of significance now let's understand in case of proportion normally we keep 50 50 percent probability that 50 percent yes 50 percent no but you have carried out the exit interview and out of 1000 voters 550 are saying that they have voted for the democratic party now if you see the proportion 550 divided by 1000 it is 0.55 now i want to say that is this proportion or is this probability significantly different from the nature's probability or not so for this, I'm carrying out the test that is Z-test for proportion. Now how to carry out the Z-test of proportions in R, let us understand. First of all, let us write the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is rho is 0.5. It means that there is no significant difference between the proportion, sample proportion and the nature's, pro and the nature's probability. That is, we will say more or less the proportion is nearer to 0.5. The alternative hypothesis is Proportion is not equal to 0.5 and what is the command line? The command line is proportion prop dot test 550 who have given that they will be uh, who have said that they will be voting for democratic party 1000 is a sample size p is 0.5 confidence level is 0.99 run and here you can see that p value is less than 0 0.05 which means that the proportion is significantly different from the nature's probability of 50% and therefore we can say with the surety that the democratic party will win. Now let us see that if I keep this very near to the uh, nature's probability, I, I say that only 510 have people have said that they will be voting for democratic party. What are the chances? So here the expectation is that the p-value will be more than 0 0.05 and therefore you can see here. The p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore we, uh, the result is very dicey. We cannot say that, with, we cannot say with the surety that the party will win. But at 550, there is a quite surety that the party will win. Now, let us see another example where we are comparing the proportion of two, uh, two groups. So, we will understand this thing by an example. It was decided by the company to purchase la two laptops with brand A and brand B. To assess better laptops, data was collected of the laptops which require servicing by the quality control department. The quality control team collected information of 50 randomly selected laptops of brand A and 60 randomly selected of brand B. It was found that 60 laptops of brand A machines and 35 laptops of brand B machines needed the service. Use Z-toss of proportions for five, at 5% level of significance. Now see. In case of brand A, that is 50, uh, 50 were selected, it was found that 60 were defective. Which means that 34 were having the good quality. Similarly, in the case of in the case of brand B, let us understand. In brand B, 60 were randomly selected and 35 were found defective, which means that this figure will be just a minute uh, this figure is 25 right how 60 minus 35 now what is the null hypothesis the null is there is no significant difference in the proportions in the in the proportions or rather the quality of both these laptops are same the alternative is there is significant difference in proportion or there is a difference in quality of these two laptops we are carrying out this test. The command line is proportion dot test. 34 are good sample in brand A. 25 are good sample in brand B. Out of 50 brand A, 60 brand B. I'll run the test. 
Here, the p-value is less than 0.05. We reject the null hypothesis, which means that there is a significant difference in the proportion or we can say that the qualities are significantly different in two groups. Which group is better? This we can see from proportion 1. Here it is 0.68 and here it is 0.41. Naturally, we can say that the brand A is much better than brand B laptops. All these codes which I am discussing here are available in my book Data Analysis Using R by Dr. Dawal Mehta. This book is available on Amazon.in as well as Amazon.com. All these codes are available. For more videos on R, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.